So last night I was in the kitchen. I was like mixing the batches of tea and stuff like that. And for the most part, I was just like, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have it in me to drink anymore. But I had me a little ting last night. And I'm just looking at my fucking feet and I'm just like, I just started like growling. Like my teeth are just like, who keeps asking this white man from South Africa what he thinks about anything? Nobody gives a fuck what you think. Shut up. Like, shut up. Just shut the fuck up. It's just, it's, it's really, like, gross. It's really gross that you come, come like, you, you're from fucking South Africa. And you're a punk because you left South Africa at the end of apartheid. Ran, like, going with the wind. Fabulous. And never went back. For real, don't come over here thinking that you 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 could talk crazy like that over here, but you know you know you cannot talk crazy like that in South Africa. Like, like South Africans are so fucking gully. Black South Africans are so fucking gully. Like the way they just really be chopping, <laughs> chopping motherfuckers up. Like go ahead, say something. I love that. I love that for us. But no, if you're not gonna be in South Africa doing that shit don't do that shit over here i don't know what, what makes you think that we're like a weaker group of people or that anybody gives a fuck about what you think you fucking ugly toad like you're ugh. and you be on a fucking on that fucking twitter like these fucking like whack bitches ugh. nah for real we don't give a fuck we don't give a fuck about what you think you got we don't give a fuck. Like, America shows niggas every day. You make one wrong fucking move and everything can be fucking gone. We don't give a fuck about these bitches. Like, you free fucking trash ass bitches too. And then you're on the internet and having these bitches like fighting with each other. Like, who give a fuck? Like, you, you're trying to be Tom from MySpace on fucking Twitter and it's not giving that. At least Tom knew how to shut up. Tom was a great friend. You are garbage and you mad old and sweaty and musty. For real, for real. Like, it's not even, it's not, I'm not even just saying it to say it. Like, you really, like, irk my fucking nerves. Ugh. I don't know. It's something about, like, it definitely is, like, a very primal thing. Like when I just see slimy, pale skin and just like sebum and it's like, ill. like same thing when you look at Steve Bannon, like that nigga look like the fucking mucinex monster. Like y'all bitches look like mucus. Like mucus out of a fucking cow udder. Fucking disgusting. You're not funny. You're not cute. You're not none of those things. You're not the doll. You, you are not the social media doll that you want to be so badly. You're not her. Shut your dumb, shut your ugly fucking crackhead ass up. For real, shut up. Because you really be on that smack. But okay, back to some like real conversations in hip hop. Okay, because shit is getting off the rails. Like, I don't think, like, we really don't care about. Meg or Nikki or like any like no everybody is really sleeping on Miss Asian doll everybody's really sleeping on Miss Asian doll and it's really very very criminal shorty is fire like she's hot she's hot like nah nah Asian dolls in this, in like the top five right now I don't I don't think nothing Nikki has put it down is fucking with just Asian Doll's presence, you know, like, just her, her presence on the fucking record is fire. Yes, let's, let's, let's redirect this, this conversation that we're having in hip-hop, because I don't care about this fucking bullshit. Another day, another fucking group of fucking Negroes fighting, who give a fuck? But I bet you none of y'all bitches can fight Asian Doll. <laughs> and you know why I really like Asian Doll so much, because Asian Doll got that thing about her that 
I have about me where bitches really just be scared of you. Like they just scare you. Bitches admire you from afar, but and and you and there's nothing like you don't do anything wrong to them, you know? They hit you up, they ask you for collabs and all type of shit like that, but just to turn around and be shady. And, like, take you off the record and all type of shit like that. Because that's the only way they can make themselves feel better than you or, like, feel like they fucking with you or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Rock Nation? Like, no. And Asian and Asian girls mad pretty. Come on. Like, Jay, for real. If you, you looking for, like, a Texas hottie, you have to fuck with Asian girls. Like, we, no. Like, granted, like, Nikki Violet and, Meg, Nikki Violet and Meg, that was, like, fucked up. But, like, Meg is so... Mm. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, okay. We felt we felt bad for Meg and the Stallion for, like, a minute. But, like, it's really because, like, yeah, no. Nikki, you, you, you pushed it a little far. You pushed it a little far. But then, and and that's why I was like, oh, I wish Nikki would just shut up, like going on and on and on, because you didn't really give us time to really get into what she was saying. Like, no, Nikki is wow funny. She said for a free beat, you could hit Megan Rock. That's okay. <laughs> that's funny. But if if you kept talking over it, we wasn't going to catch that. But that was funny. But you still fried, sis. You, you really fucking fried, girl. You're fried. And Nikki, come on. Like, Asian doll wanted to fuck with you. Like, no, if I was Asian doll, I would not fuck with you at all. Because the fuck was you laughing at? Like, she's saying hi to you. You, like, laughing on a thing. Like, nah. Sis, no. Asian doll is, like... Like, Asian doll will body you. On the records... In real life, she looked better than you. Like, I don't know what's funny. I don't, I don't know what she was laughing at. And no, I'm sorry. Meg, Meg is dying. She just looked like Barney. Like, she's just big. She's like, Barney. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Let's, like, no, y'all got to just please. Pay attention. Like, like, pick up what Asians all be putting down. She's fire. So fire. And the fucking engineering, the mix and master is just like, oh, chef's kiss. And a nigga A Boogie with the hoodie. Like, trust me. I know. It's, it's mad people that fuck with A Boogie with the hoodie. But in terms of just like the general conversation of hip hop, I don't understand why he's like not at the forefront of the conversation. A Boogie with the hoodie is fire he's like like a non-corny big sean i don't know it's something about detroit rappers that's just corny you know what i'm saying but i have a theory about why people are not really like the you know the gp is not really like catching a believe the hoodie it's like most of these rap niggas is wow ugly you know what i'm saying a boogie with the hoodie, like, he not ugly enough, like, <laughs> he not ugly enough, like, like, don't get it twisted, I love me some Kodak Black, but Kodak Black is a funny, funny face looking nigga, you know what I'm saying, and that kind of gets him a little further than he deserves to be, like, Kodak Black dead look like, like a Black Simpson, like, he <laughs> really look like a Black Simpson, but at the same time, I fuck with Kodak Black, OD, because, Kodak just keep it a buck. He just keep it a buck, and he's a Gemini, and the shit he be saying, like, his jokes is just, he's funny. But A Boogie with the hoodie is really serious about his music. You know what I'm saying? He'll never be out here goofing around, and you'll never catch him on camera, like, rolling on a bean, looking crazy, nothing like that. So, he don't have, like, the, the, the controversy thing, because then that's so fucked up. Like, the hip-hop has come to a place where you gotta be, oh my God, these fucking... Smart appliances. Hip hop has come to a place where you gotta be just like some goofball and be talking shit and doing all that to get attention for your fucking music, you know? But I really do think Asian Dog gonna push through. She gonna push through and she gonna push past so many people. And everybody that shit on her is gonna feel real stupid. Cause she keeps getting better.
year by year by year by year. Like she keeps getting better. And something about her voice when she rap is just menacing. Like, nah, she harder than a lot of these niggas. Like, I, I feel like the energy coming off my music. Like, oh my god, this bitch will really fucking like. This bitch will eat my head off. These rap niggas be talking about what? Now rap niggas is not scary. Y'all not scary. Y'all can't even like perform scary. And that's another thing, like, these are things we need to be, like, discussing with hip, with hip-hop, like, the intricacies and the nuances of the music, the mix, the master, the performance, the everything, like, who give a fuck about a cosign? I'm sorry, rappers from the South, a lot, of, a lot of the rappers from the South is just trash. That's just that. It don't got nothing to do about not having respect for the South. First of all, the South doesn't have respect for the South. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but that's a whole different conversation. It ain't nothing to do with that. It's just like a lot of, a lot of, lot of rappers from the South, and especially for a lot of, oh my God, a lot of rappers from the West Coast is just like real corny, like real granola with it. You know what I'm saying? But Miss Asians all, nah. She is like, no, she's a beast. She's a beast. And she's no. She's like Trina. Remy, Azealia Banks, Naomi Campbell, all wrapped up in like one sandwich. Like, no, it's, it's a lot of layers there. Y'all gotta pay attention. Y'all gotta pay the fuck attention.